Tough night for the USC Upstate Spartans as they fall to the conference leader, the Bisons of Lipscomb here inside the Hodge Centers. We welcome you back inside. Phil Cox along with Aaron Cox. And first two sets for Upstate, Aaron did not go very well for the Spartans. But as we figured, we thought they would come out stronger, more aggressive. They really executed better in the third set. But Lipscomb just very strong as a whole as they get the win tonight here in Spartanburg. Oh, Lipscomb showing why they're one of the top teams not only in the conference but in the nation so far this year. You mentioned it, if the Spartans were able to play like they did in set number three throughout the first two sets, we could have had a totally different match. But I guess throughout the majority of the match, it was Lipscomb main day or, uh, maintaining the, the pace of play. Taking a look at some of the highlights from this three-setter here inside the Hodge Center. Really seemed like the Bisons did a nice job of just setting things up. A lot of times it's really that simple, Aaron. If you can set it in the right place, mm -hmm. the attacks and the kills will come along with that. Absolutely. They always seem to be right at the net. Very few of them, especially early on, were having to come from the back. And as a result, they're really putting a lot of force behind their attacks, racking up a lot of kills, which we'll see the stats in a moment. And really, up until set number three, Lipscomb was in control. Very few mistakes by Lipscomb, but Upstate came back strong in set three. Talk about Callie Hergen, Emily Coling, but these two players really making hay for their sides tonight. Absolutely. Well, hockey has been a huge player all year long for Coach Callaway and the Spartans. Had another double-double today. Really a low kills number there, but that's indicative of really just how the match went, but she was able to make her way, make her presence known with the assists and digs. Meanwhile, Estes, another double-digit kill game. She's been one of the best players in the conference so far. So that's a look at the individual perspective. Now a team comparison as you take a look at this you mentioned uh, service aces it doesn't show up on this stat uh, sheet Aaron but uh, that's something upstate wasn't able to get as you take a look at the stats really favoring Lipscomb as a lot of times it does in a three set game like this no it doesn't show up because there really was nothing to show right. up there you see the kills and attacks obviously in, uh, in Lipscomb's favor there to the Spartans credit errors which have been a problem for them this year not a problem so far today they played sound fundamentally especially as the match drove on but just were not able to really get any momentum until it was almost too late. Upstate with a strong third set, staying in it till the very end, but Lipscomb strong down the stretch, able to get the three sets to none win over the Upstate Spartans here inside the Hodge Center. 